Atlanta mayor bans teens selling water on street corners after 18-year-old is shot dead. Okay? And now she's accused of being racist. Oh, man. Look, I, me and the mayor of Atlanta, we've got our issues. Uh, she's a she's a commie idiot. But, but, but she, like, no one should have to live in a society like this. Um, the mayor of Atlanta being accused of, racism for, accused of racism for banning teens for selling bottled water. First of all, do they have a business license? Do they have a permit? Are they paying their sales tax? I mean, there's a lot of questions I have about the legality of them standing on the street corner selling water to begin with. Because if I walk out uh, and I stand on the corner of, let's say, Lindsay Lane in 72, and I pull into the bank parking lot there, or let's say the gas station parking lot, the bank's probably going to run me out. I mean, First National Bank, great people, but but they're probably not going to want me sitting up there selling, let's say, watermelons out of the back of my truck. Okay, let's just use that hypothetically. So let's say I pull over in front of uh, in front of the gas station there, and he allows to he, he agrees to let me sit there and peddle my watermelons. And I don't have a license. I don't have the appropriate permits. I don't pay my taxes because how would you keep up with sales tax, right? So you probably need a point of sale system. And and I'm out there peddling my watermelons. Is that legal? I, I don't. I would say probably not. Uh, I think each each city, municipality, whatever, they all have their own rules on it. But just, I mean, I haven't gotten two sentences through this story, and I've already got I've already got questions to begin with. Uh, but Mayor. Keisha Lance Bottoms joins an effort with Atlanta Police Department to curb sales of water bottles. Hold on a minute. Atlanta, you mean to tell me the one thing you can focus on right now? We got to curb the water bottle sales. Hey, 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 Sergeant, what we got today? Um, We really got to get after these water bottle salesmen. I'm sorry, what? We got shootings, riots, drug dealing, Ray Shad getting shot. I mean, you got people getting shot everywhere in Atlanta. Everybody gets you got a guy shot at Wendy's. I mean, I'm talking about you can't get away from a gunshot in Atlanta, and we're going to worry about the water bottle salesman? Oh, man. Oh, it, oh if, it, if only it was the gu- If only it was not the bomb. That I Look, I appreciate the effort, and no, you don't, don't stop trying to make this show better. It's just unfortunate that it was the bomb. It's just really unfortunate um, that it was the bomb. So this answers my question. The the reason that they're curbing the sales is because it's unpermitted water sales. Okay, so and, and I like what the program they're they're, init- they're they're creating initiatives to provide workforce training services and employment to entrepreneurial youth. I wonder if they're also going after the drug dealers. And trying to give them some training because they're they're some enterprising entrepreneurs. Now their their product may not be you know completely on the side of. I just wish they'd redirect their entrepreneurial you know efforts. But but still, we're we're gonna we're gonna create workforce training services and employment to these young these young men that are selling they're selling water bottles on street corner without a permit. I like it, but how is it racist? How's it racist? Jelani Pless, 18, was selling water bottles on the corner and was uh, and was killed for ten dollars, um, literally. And so they're using this and saying they're saying because Jelani lost his life selling water bottles on the corner, now we're cracking down on un- unpermitted water bo- water bottle sales. It, the logic here doesn't make sense. They're using Jelani's death to stop unpermitted sales. It's really more about the fact that there's unpermitted, untaxed sales happening in the city of Atlanta, and the mayor is not going to have that, which I completely – that's her right to do so, and I believe is the right thing to do. Um, but now we're going we're gonna to blame it on Jelani and his $10, okay? And now – She's racist. Uh, quote, just saw a thread under black folks talking down on these kids uh, in Atlanta selling water. Man, this city really got, wow, really got coons speaking anti-black rhetoric because they may drive a decent car type. ATL got to get some of these clowns out here. This is sad, one Twitter user said. Um, okay. So do white people not sell water belt, water bottles on the corner, I guess? I guess that's what they're implying. Because apparently this policy is racist, meaning it only applies to one race of people. But the mayor herself is black. 
So I guess you've got a black mayor racist towards black kids selling unpermitted wa- breaking the law and selling unpermitted water bottles on the street. I can't even keep up anymore. I can't even keep up. This is I, I l- listen, people. Enforcing laws is not inherently racist. Now, if she said white people can sell water bottles on the street corners, black people you cannot. Now we got a racism problem. Now we have now we have prejudice. Now we have the government choosing winners and losers. Wait a minute, what? You mean like they have been for four months? This is not racist. This is not what what it appears to be. Um, this is this is an absurd. Uh, Mayor, I, I don't like you, but I apologize to you because there are some really, really, really foolish people saying really foolish things about you that are untrue. And so we're going to be consistent here on Hometown Heartbeat, the smartest show on radio. I'll apologize to you on their behalf. Uh, they should be better than that. You you go get those un- unpermitted sales and you get them off your streets. This is Hometown Heartbeat. We'll be right back.